I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I watch sea beams glitter in the dark near Tannhauser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time. Like this episode of Dare Danger Dan. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. So today's episode, you guessed it, we're going to be doing a little um, Blade Runner. Yeah? You got any Blade Runner fans out there? What? You never saw Blade Runner? Oh my god, you need to see Blade Runner, like, immediately. Don't you love it when somebody tells you that? Does it make you want to see the movie even more? No, not really. Anyway, Blade Runner, cool. Uh, which one of the seven versions of Blade Runner is your favorite? Because they, they recut the movie like seven times. Anyway, enough about that. So Chris Dieter dared me on this episode of Dare Danger Dan. He dared me to draw the tears and rain speech from Blade Runner. All right, but the twist is he wants D uh, David Bowie, uh, Aladdin Sane era David Bowie, giving the speech to William Onyebor, who is a, uh, he's a uh, African funk musician from like the 70s, uh, very interesting musician. Actually, this dare made me learn a lot about him. There's a cool documentary about him. But, uh, anyway, I digress, let's get drawn. All right, so stick around, sit your butts down because we're getting into it, baby. Like tears in the rain. Is my coat too squeaky? Should I take it off? All right. Bye. You win. Whipping out the old Sharpie once again. Believe it or not. Yeah, well I gotta draw some box panels. Cause it's gonna be like a two page comic strip kind of thing. Actually now that I'm thinking of it, I really need my ruler. I almost forgot. Dee -dee. All right, so for that part, we just were laying down some panels because I'm doing a kind of a comic book approach to this uh, interpretation of Blade Runner, which uh, is based on the book. What's the book called again? Wait, it's a. Uh, I know it. I know it. I do. I know it. It's um. Do androids dream of electric sheep? That's the one, Philip K. Dick. Yep, that's right. Uh, an amazing sci-fi writer, and uh, definitely Blade Runner is an amazing movie, but uh, only watch it if you want to. And definitely watch the final cut, because that's how uh, that's how the director intended it. Ridley Scott, that's right. Um, oh, it's like... The studios like wanted to push it out, and then the studios did a lot of editing to the movie, and Ridley Scott wasn't even done with it yet. And then, uh, yeah, that's why there's like seven different versions, because like just Hollywood studio execs were just like, no, 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 just put it out, and then oh, oh you know what? Let's like forcibly make them do a happy ending on it that they didn't want to do, and they just cut out a bunch of weird random stuff that, and then they forced them to put. Uh, over, over, like Harrison Ford doing a narrative over it, which they didn't want to do. So I guess by some accounts, Harrison Ford sounds like he doesn't want to do it. You can tell, and it's like kind of half-assed. But uh, but it was all because like test audiences, when they didn't have the voiceover, were like, well, I don't know what's going on. And then they did have the voiceover, and everyone that was involved in making it hated it. So they just kept doing all sorts of weird, like so the director's cut. Ridley Scott didn't have anything to do with that, so it's like, why do they call it director's cut? The studio was just like, oh yeah, people are like kind of whining about this and thating, so we'll, we'll throw our own director's cut together. And then Ridley Scott's like, you fucking assholes. And then he went and just made his own actual, it's called the final cut from 2007, would be the definitive one to watch. And that's what I'm gonna go home and watch tonight. So William Onibar. Onibar? But yeah, so William Onibar, or Onibar? I really should figure out how to say that right. Uh, his, he's a Nigerian funk musician who uh, at a time, at the time in Nigeria, 70s and 80s, uh, had a huge accumulation of, um, of keyboards and digital musical instruments which were uh, really rare to find in that, in that part of Africa at that time. And there was a lot of mystery surrounding him because he just won't do interviews and he like gave up music for many years to become a religious man. And uh, 
I don't know, there are a lot of theories running around as to how he got the musical instruments and what he was all about. But anyway, his music is quite lovely, very cheerful, always has a good message, uh, very anti-war, and honestly, it's a really good time, so check it out. And that's William Onibar, O-N-Y-E-A-B-O-R. All right, I'm gonna put my focus in now. So I'm drawing David Bowie, and I am a huge Bowie fan, by the way, so that should be stated. Uh, oh, As the World Falls Down would be my favorite one that Bowie sings. The, as the World Falls Down from the, uh, you know, the ballroom scene. That one's good. Um, and then just from the movie in general, not David Bowie, is Fire Guys. You know, the like pink and purple dudes that pull their heads and off. Uh, all right, here's the part where Rutger Hauer would be holding the pigeon and just staring into the rainy night. This is going to be yet another Impossible Ted episode, brought to you by Dare Danger Dan. So I would usually fast forward two parts of movies I liked and then just rewind it and like play, replay it over and over again, like Pink Elephants on Dumbo. Yeah. I had to like memorize that whole song. All right, next panel, here we go. It's a threefer. All right, I'll buy the details later. Let's just keep on moving. Let's keep on trucking, kids. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna have to think of some David Bowie lyrics to Tears and Rain speech. All right, so the next part of T Tears in the Rain. Oh yeah, I've seen things that you wouldn't believe. Let's turn that to I've seen news that all the young dudes wouldn't believe, right? Sure, yeah. All the young dudes. Uh, made famous by Martha Hoople, but was actually written by David Bowie. I've seen news all the young dudes wouldn't believe. A star man waiting in the sky? Yes, I like it. The return of the thin white duke. Glittering like diamond dogs. Near Suffragette City. Yes, 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 we're good. How do you spell Suffragette? Mm, let's hope I get it right. Yes, now we're on a roll. I guess I'm in more of a lyrical mood. All those golden years would be lost in time. Like creatures of the wind. Yes, yes, that's how I'm gonna do it. Note to self, in the future, if I'm doing comics things, I should do, uh, She's the bubbles first, okay? Note to self and to whoever's watching. Yeah, the word bubbles. No, I mean write the text first, then the word bubbles around the text. That's what I did here. I didn't do that here. Yeah, just no, just noting to myself. It's funny because I've done graphic novels before and I already figured this out a long time ago, but I'm very nervous, okay, in front of the camera. You don't know what it's like, guys. You don't understand what it's like to be a star. Okay, so we got, you remind me of the babe, the babe with the power. 
and then uh, he lifts him up, throws him on the roof because he's dangling by his fingernails over here. And then Bowie's like, I've seen news all the young dudes wouldn't believe. A star man waiting in the sky. The return of the thin white duke, glittering like diamond dogs in near suffragette city. All those golden years will be lost in time like creatures of the wind. Yes, those are all based on David Bowie lyrics, okay? Look it up, if you don't believe me. Almost there, kids. Almost there. One more panel. And then you can change the channel. No, don't do that. Stay tuned. It's cuckoo time. All right. Let's just zip on through to the other side. That's going to do it. All right, one more time. You remind me of the babe. What babe? I've seen news all the young dudes wouldn't believe. A star man waiting in the sky. The return of the thin white duke. Glittering like diamond dogs near Suffragette City. All those golden years will be lost in time like creatures of the wind. And then I die. Thank you for tuning in to Dare Danger Dan. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and uh, go ahead and tip your artist at uh, Venmo at Danger Dan. Thanks. Tune in soon. I'll see you guys next time.